Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I created my aesthetic Google Docs template. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave them down below. So the first thing I started with was a drawing, so you're going to go and click on insert and then drawing. And this is pretty simple, all you're going to do is create a bar, like a horizontal square. Now, of course, this theme is brown, so I created custom colors. You can make it any custom color you like. I just chose brown for this theme, but you can make it yellow, green, whatever. And then you're going to make sure that there are no borders. After that, we are going to edit the image options and put it behind the text. And this allows you to type directly on top without having to insert it prior to getting here. I like this way better because nothing gets messed up or distorted if you change the size of the box or the positioning of the box. I also created a custom color for my text. Now here's me messing around with it. Nothing's ever perfect and I just wanted to leave this in here because of course I never like know what to put in the first try so I just mess around. And now we're going to move on to the actual text and notes. So you're going to insert a one by one table and then go to table formatting options and change that color and the size depending on what you like. I created another custom color and messed around with the thickness a lot. Next you want to find your perfect font and I ended up settling on spectral. And I messed around with the size depending on what you're writing you may want to make it bigger or smaller but I ended up making it super small and adding a brown highlight to the back of it. Then you're going to highlight your heading and select the normal text option, press that drop down and press update heading one to match. And that way you never have to reformat when you're typing in your headings ever again for the rest of the document, of course. Now, normally I would say to keep your heading and your text two different fonts, but I couldn't find one that matched. So I also use spectral for my notes. And I always type in bullet points. So I just press the bullet point drop down and then added bullet points to type out my notes. Here I just left some details that you might want to use for your notes. Um, it's really important that in this section you want to fill it out and make it a lot like dense. And you also want to use as much of the paper as possible since you are writing within a table and you don't want to have a lot of empty space. And after this I played with the format a little bit more. I added a divider and then added the Latin text generator just to fill up some empty space. And we move on to heading number two. So here, if you watch my other Google Notes template videos, then you'll know that I like to do an invisible table to create columns. So what I did here was again, inserted that table, typed in whatever I needed to type, went to table properties and made the table invisible. And when you make the table invisible, of course you can't see it, but it leaves columns that no one would ever know is there, which is really useful for when you just wanna not have like weird janky Google Docs columns. Because trust me, even though Google Docs does have a column option, they do not look good at all. And then I went on to create a Cornell note style table. So what you're going to do is create a two by two table. And once you do that, you're going to make one table larger than the other, similar to how you would have like two separate Cornell note sections. I just changed the color of the table to match that highlight color to keep the theme going. Then, as I said before, you want to make one larger than the other and use the right hand side for your notes and the left hand side for your titles and diagrams. And you're still going to want to add headings within the Cornell notes section because that really makes it uniform. And I do recommend having more than one heading if you're going to use the Cornell notes style option, just because it will look really weird if you just have one section within Cornell notes, you want to have multiple sections. But no matter what you do for this theme, make sure you're filling it out to the max because it will look weird if you have a lot of empty space. And then I went ahead and showed you what it looks like if you were to add a diagram to the side. You see, it really looks nice when you have a combination of headings and diagrams. And also, in general, you want your notes to be very dense, you know? So now I'm going to show you how I created my post-it note. So I started off with a regular rectangle and then I thought I wanted a rectangle, but I didn't. You'll see me change it later. And I created some custom colors for this and made the borders clear in the end. So you see, I, I switched it to this like wavy one that they have and cleared the borders so that it looks seamless. Now, the one thing I want you to know about this one is that do not add bullet points within the post-it note. Like normally I would say add bullet points, but you're just gonna wanna free block it and bold it so that people can see what you're writing. 
Now here's where I have some difficulty and you guys can tell me what you think about it. I didn't know whether to put the post-it note at the top or at the bottom. So I ended up putting it at the bottom at the end of the entire like video. But of course you can move this post-it note wherever you like. Maybe you have a better idea. But I really wanted to have a post-it note here. So I settled on the bottom just to make it look a little bit better and less cluttered up there. Now we're on the final stretch. So as you can see, I inserted a paragraph without a heading. So I went back and added a heading, but you're going to insert that horizontal line one more time, just because, you know, those dividers really make it look good. And then add your heading. And normally, if you watch my other videos, I normally have a little area for writing your final notes, especially if you're going to print it out. And in this section, I didn't really add a block. Instead, I just added a little table and I made it about the width of the gap that was there. And I made it the same color as the other table to keep everything uniform. And then in this table is where you will write your notes. But that about does it for this video and hopefully you enjoyed if you have any questions please let me know if you need the link to the file please let me know and i will see you all next time bye everyone